And we're back with more Super Mario Sunshine. And down at the bottom, if you take a look, it's not scrolling right now, but the Debs alert says that Princess Peach has been kidnapped. So we can talk to Grandpa Toadstool here. And he basically just says that she's been kidnapped, so. And the alert says that she's over in the west, so that is this way. And we can see there's this, uh, I don't know, Bowser boat? I don't even know how to describe this thing. And we've got a cutscene. <laughs> that is a long tongue. <laughs> Mario just got dissed in the face by that water. That is Pina Island. The villain secret hideout must be there. Okay, time to go to the amusement park. Once we can get in this cannon. If we would have visited the cannon earlier, it would have said that it wasn't working yet. I think this guy would have been sitting in it. What happened? Okay, this guy would have been sitting in it, I think. He would have told us that we couldn't use it yet, but now apparently it's working, so we can head over there. <laughs> Mecha Bowser appears. So yeah, as as it looks from the outside, this is just a giant amusement park. Play with the works, roller coaster, merry-go-round, all that stuff. And here's Shadow Mario, or whatever he is, right there. I think they call him Shadow Mario, maybe. Gotta chase him down like normal. He's a little slow. And apparently he can stand on water. He almost looks like he's made out of water. Flood can't see from back there. He's got a giant Bowser. How would they hide that in that pool? That's what I want to know. How did he even build it there? What? So now we're going to do the only logical thing and get on the roller coaster and shoot at it as we fly by. This guy is amazed. He thinks it's he thinks that this is some kind of show, but it's not even it's not even close to being right. Yes, now we get a hero's vehicle. I just realized that his beard is like a shell. I guess so is his body. He's just a shell in general. That's kinda cool. Now we're on the roller coaster. And there are these little rockets that we drive by and collect, and they're powered by water. And we just gotta shoot them at him while deflecting these bullet bills that'll come by. We just gotta hit him a couple times, it's not a big deal. Let's see if I can get him from that far away, it's not likely though. Nope, I missed. Where's he at? Right there. Okay. Another. Wow, that one, that one curved way off because I'm going in a circle, I guess. Yes, I know a bullet bill's coming. Okay, there, there's one hit on him. I think there's another rocket coming up. Oh, yeah, right here. Should be able to hit him again. I'll just take these hits. It's not really. We can take quite a few hits. Oh, there's another one. One more hit and he's gone. Oh, that. Oh, I missed. I hear a bullet bill, but I don't know where it is. Oh, wow. I think I got hit by those flames. Oh, yes. That's the third one. Is that it? Nice, one lap. Mario. 
She doesn't even act like she's in distress. She just it's like, hey there, Mario. I can see my house from here. Oh, uh, look. It's Baby Bowser. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Bowser's been busy. Or maybe Bowser's just delusional. Or just been fed lies by Bowser. Goes to show us everything's a matter of perspective. So uh, I think his paintbrush is made by the same dude. Well, it is made by the same guy that made the is that's made Flood. I think that's the same. Prof I think that's the professor dude from Luigi's Mansion. I don't remember his name. So yeah, now uh, Baby Bowser's off at that Corona Mountain. Oh, and he left a shine sprite behind for some reason. Maybe that's what powered the body. Who knows? Maybe it's just convenient to give us one. What is this? There's a fruit over here? Oh, I didn't even realize, but that's... I never noticed this, but that's one of the levels we'll go to later. I didn't realize you could see it from here. And then there's that one. Looks weird from far away. That's the one with the... Um, Caterpillar, and then you can see Rico Harbor, and then Delfino Plaza, and, you can, and I think, yeah, you can see a lot of them from here. There's still, there's more than that, though. There's one I'm thinking of that you can't see from here. If I could pick this up, finally. Awesome. Okay, now back to Delfino Plaza. I'm not sure which level I want to go to. I guess we'll do some of these. Makes the most sense. Kind of balance every world out. That's probably going to annoy some people because they'd rather have me finish one world all at once, but it helps to have some variety, I would think. Instead of just sitting in one world for a bunch of, a bunch of levels in a row. The Beach Cannon Secret. This one actually doesn't even take place in the actual amusement park itself. There's actually two of them, I think. Well, another one besides this that does it, at least. We've got some kind of mole. Is that Monty Mole, I wonder? We've got a mole in a cannon. This one doesn't take long. Actually, well, there's a level inside of it. You can tell because it's one that it says secret in it, of course. But getting them out of it, of the cannon, is kind of easy. So if you're far away, he shoots these bullet bills, he shoots those ones, and he also shoots homing ones, which have a little red tip on them, and they'll follow you and try and get you. But if you get close, he switches to his, like, a little alarm clock bombs. And you just gotta spray him to deactivate him, and then throw him at him. I'm hitting him with, like, really bad shots right now. It's weird. Is he done yet? Oh, crap. Grab it. There we go. How many more? One? Is that it? Wow, he has to be hit a lot. There we go. Six or seven? And then it becomes basically one of those, uh, the cannon that we use to get here. And they give you a nice little rainbow to tell you to go in in case you couldn't figure it out. I suppose some people could miss that. And we got another secret level. And this one isn't really that bad. It's just a little disappearing block game. I'll try to be careful with this. Crap. Oh! 
That was not good at all. I wasn't careful enough. I'm trying to get greedy and skip over. I should have gone for the nearest green one. I don't know why there's this Yoshi block. Maybe just to signify that this one doesn't fade away. Alright, come on. Oh yeah, there's a safe block right here. Why didn't I go this way? This is a logical way to go. Crap. Okay, that's not bad. And then there's a... There's this way over here, I think... I don't know if there's anything over there worth getting. Maybe like a 1-up or something. Or maybe that's just for if you fall off up here. I think you can fall off. If I could get up here... Okay, these are just your typical little bouncy things. Come on! <laughs> this is idiocy right now. Get on up there. Come on, Mario. I know you've done this routine before. Oh, so you can spin jump like that. Alright, now we're up here. This part is just like a gauntlet. Good old chest slide. one up. It's not that hard to get. And then that's about it. Pretty easy. You don't screw up on the trampoline things and go the wrong way at the beginning. <laughs>